Ooh, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's five some dose, man. My voice just cracked a little bit. Today, we got 89 mods on the testing list. Giants have got some Platinum Edition gameplay. The official FarmCon 22 after movie is here. It's also podcast day, but not for us. And we've got seven modders to talk about, including something really cool. Check it out. Starting off today with the testing list, which is down to 89 mods today from 100 that we had yesterday. Some notable mods and testing for PC right now include branded yard signs, crop storage pack, and the Fiat 70C. Also in testing, we have IBC and Pallet Stack, John Deere Gator Pack, and the Massey Ferguson 5700S2020. Finally, we've got the Pallet Factory, TLX X52 Logger, and Universal Auto Load. Maps in the first stage of testing do include Backroads County, Edge Farm, Gelderland, Gattenthal, Hillaby Creek, Lock Hornella, and Perambres Map. Some notable mods of testing for consoles right now include the Case IH Patriot 350, Foil Tunnel, and Global Goods Transport Pallet. Also in testing, we have the John Deere 1590 in tandem, just like we did yesterday, the Massey 7677 87 series, and finally, the TLX X52 enclosed trailer. Maps in testing right now for consoles include Maypal Farm, like we had yesterday, and Welker Farms map. All that being said, we still have 161 mods sitting waiting to be tested, up from 118 yesterday, and the current average waiting time of new submitted mods is also up to five workdays from four from yesterday. In addition to the mods of testing, 11 new and updated mods were released today on the end game mod hub new for all platforms the alex pro deal center farm beaver 8 or 1600 tub grinder lizard w50 and the weight 1000 kg updates for all platforms we have the rolling pack lizard trailer panel fences and gates cow feed mixer and the john deere dealer sign new for pc and mac players we have the land rover defender 90 an update for pc and mac players with the raw smash dt75 i've already made a video showing these off you can find that video linked in the first pinned comment below if you haven't seen gameplay from the platinum expansion yet Giants not only have a video up on their YouTube channel showing an overview of how logs will behave and how the new Volvo L200H works, but they also showed off the map in a spotlight during FarmCon Live last Saturday. I will leave links to both of those in the comments with a timestamp on the live stream. That way you don't have to scroll through the seven hour stream to find it. Giants also took us for a trip around the map and showed off some really cool places, so definitely check out that video after this. Giants have also released their after movie from FarmCon 22, which is absolutely epic epic i'll leave that link below as well if you want to check it out it's only a minute 53 seconds long and it shows you everything you may have missed while at FarmCon. there's also plenty of myself farmer cop and fsg in there as well definitely check it out today is also friday meaning that it is podcast day from giant software in today's episode of the farming simulator podcast they talk about everything that happened at FarmCon, as well as answered some of your questions regarding the three upcoming dlcs Premier, Pumps and Hoses, and Platinum. Check it out, link below. And speaking of podcasts, the Farm Sim Show will not be today, but it will be tomorrow on Clutch's channel. Normally, we don't do episodes on Saturday, but since we couldn't do it today, we still wanted to make it up to you guys. So, see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Clutch Simulation's YouTube channel. Making our way into modern news today, J.A. Modding is continuing work on his John Deere 8110 tractor with plenty of new screenshots dropping while I was away, and he's even got some new goodies and customization options, including wheel weights, front hitch, window tent, and different engines. Soon we'll be getting a complete list of everything that he's including with the mod, so keep an eye out for it. EY Modding is back for the first time in over a month with some new information on his next mod, the John Deere A. This is an overall winner of what players wanted to see from him next, but this is what we're getting. The process has just started and he asked that if anyone has any real life pictures of this, or maybe you've got one in real life altogether, shoot some screenshots his way. Anything is useful at this point to get this mod into the game and make it the best that it can be. North Mod and Company have some new pics of their excavators shown here in a plethora of different colors, designs, and even some track colors as well. Check this out. We also get to see the Gearstead bucket and the quick coupler, and it looks like the claw that's on the machine is going to be permanently attached to the arm and not part of a separate attachment or something like that. This is going to be a purely epic machine capable of many different things in game, especially some fun roleplay stuff. So Vertex also has some updates on things that he's working on, starting off with the Voucher Valmet tractor. He says that work is going little by little, but nothing much to report, at least right now, other than 
work is progressing. He also says that his TAC 10500 sugarcane trailer did fail testing the first time around last week, but it has been fixed and was resubmitted yesterday, fixing a small light error. And the PCP 600 sugarcane planter is about 50% in game right now around there, but plenty more work to do. Small updates from server text today, but it's always nice to get little reminders how things are going. A very popular mod in the console community is about to get a nice update. Yo Smodding's Liftable Bales Pack will be getting new buyable bales that you can lift right from the store and more wrapping colors in the store. That way you can differentiate different bales for different things if you're into that. A great addition to one of the most useful and popular mods of mod up right now. The pack was just submitted for testing, so all we have to do now is wait. The SMI modding team have announced another new mod for all platforms, the MAAG Kios. This is a ruler or mulcher, depending on how you configure it from the store, and it'll be available in two different sizes, 4.5 and 7.6 meters. Great for small to medium tractors with lower horsepowers. Both sizes are available as the mulcher or roller as well, that way you don't have to choose one over the other. That's all we know right now, but they do say more information will be coming soon. As you know, Pepe978 is bringing back his Grimmy pack as a mod to mod hub for all platforms, and here we get to see the building coming with the pack. You may remember this building that is quite unique when it was dropped in FarmSim19, and it offers a very realistic experience when storing potatoes throughout the year. So, if you love doing potatoes, this is going to be a mod that you will want to pick up once it's released. It'll be available as an entire pack, so just download one thing. The only thing is now, we don't know when it's going to be here, but I would guess pretty soon. In addition to that screenshot, he's also sent over a bunch of screenshots to show you guys, including pieces of the entire pack. Everything that we saw on the FS19 DLC looks to be returning, and the functionality appears to be identical as well. This is going to be a really neat pack once it's released, and even if you don't do potatoes, like I really don't, there's a little something in here for everyone, especially those trailers. Yay! And lastly today, a PC-only mod, DJ Modding, brings us some more screenshots of UMRV and some information on what he's been up to. He says that he's been away for a bit, but he's back working on the map to get it out ASAP. It's still in development, but after being MIA for like two months, it's really great to see him back working on such an iconic map. And I bet it's great to hear that this part of the video is sponsored by Self-Aware Segways. Need an awkward way to get from one paragraph to the next while being completely aware of what's going on? Well, you need Self-Aware Segways. Use the code YOSNOTYOS to get an extra 0% off at checkout. And just like every episode of Arms and News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. If I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information available on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you want to know about and some things you need to know about as well going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHand fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With that, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. You know, I've heard of jet lag coming back from Europe to the States, but I've been waking up every day at like 4 a.m. This has got to stop.